Hey guys, what's up? Redneck Gamer here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add a fruit type to anything in Farming Simulator 2013. Now, this is useful for if you're playing a mod map and there's no silos, but there's spots where you can just dump the grain. And if that spot does not have conveyors to unload the grain or any sort of way to unload the grain, you're going to have to unload it yourself with a front loader or whatever it may be. <laughs> Easiest one would be the front loader. And if you have a mod front loader, because the end game won't do that, and that still won't unload the grain you're trying to do, I'm going to show you guys how to make it so it will. So here we have the Johnston Grain Trailer. I'm going to open this up and find Johnston Grain Trailer XML document. Copy that to your desktop and just minimize this folder now. With this XML document, we are going to, and if, I must stress this right now, put it on the desktop so you can edit it. There's no other way you can edit it unless it's on your desktop. So, right click it, edit with Notepad++, link is in the description. And what we are looking for, this is just where it tells you everything about the mod. So we are looking for fill planes is the first one. We want to take it. If we well, for example, I'm doing soybeans. I want soybeans on this trailer. It does not matter which one you of these fill planes you highlight. Just highlight fill plane with with the type of fruit after it, which is wheat in this case, all the way down to this fill plane. You then want to copy this, press enter so you have some space, line it up, so here we are right here, and paste it. So now we have fill type wheat, fill type wheat. The first thing you want to do is simply delete this wheat and put S-O-Y-B-E-A-N, soybean. That's all you have to do, or whatever you're putting in there, like manure, or silage, mixed rations, whatever. Put the name of what you're putting on right in between these two um, quotation marks. That's not it. Then you want to find, let's see here, what is the next one in our list on this one? Next one is tip animation. Basically, you want to do this for anywhere you see fruit types. So here we are. We want to highlight all this. Again, does not matter which one you choose. Copy it. Enter. And paste. And again, simply rename the whole discharge particle system to... S O Y B E A N, soybean, or whatever you're putting in. That's not all. You also want to find fill types. Once again, the one, find anything where it says all the free types. Does not matter where you put it, just as long as it is in here, put soy, bean, and space. Make sure there is a space, or else it will not work. Just make sure there is no other place where it has fruit types, which there isn't. Hit save, and you can close it out. We are not done. Uh, I need to move this out of the way. Here is the XML document we just edited. Here's the original. Let me stretch this out. Now, what you simply want to do is just move this into this uh, folder. And copy and replace. There you go. You have successfully modded something to accept a certain grain type, in this case, soybean. If you guys found this helpful, I appreciate it. If you like it, I don't care if you do or don't. It's your opinion if you liked it. But till next time, I'm the Redneck Gamer, and see you all in the next video.